Hey guys, it's Carly, aka The Beauty Macaroon, and today's video I'm going to be testing out the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot Rubber Mask. I haven't heard a lot about this particular mask, but the packaging itself is what made me want to try it. Look at that. Isn't that creepy? It's creepy and cool at the same time. This is what the side packaging looks like, and they come in different colors depending on which mask you get. This one is the rubber brightening mask because I have some pretty dark dull spots on my skin. So I thought of all of the ones that they make for the rubber mask, this would probably work the best for me. In all honesty, I haven't used too many masks because recently mud masks have been the big thing and I'm very allergic to clay, so I've always been too scared to put them on my face. So this will be the first time I've used any type of mask in a really long time. I got this at our local Sephora and I paid $12 for it, which I thought there would be more than one mask in it, but there's not, so I'm thinking it must be really good to be that price. It's got the instructions on the side. They're pretty clear to read, and you don't have to have any extra ingredients. Everything comes in the little cup thing. When you take off the creepy baby on the top, you get a spatula and the two mixes to mix together to actually create the mask. These are the two products that you mix together to create the mask. And I don't know if you can see it, but they're really, really liquidy. Here we go, like right there. Can you see that? I forgot to mention that these individual um, packets of stuff for the mask each do different things. The first one is a super booster and the other one is a botanical complex with vitamin C in it. I just put the super boost into the cup and it looks like that. It kind of has like a jelly texture, like petroleum jelly almost. And I'm not sure really how this mask is going to shape because it's like that, but uh, I'll just have to put the second one in to know. I still find it funny that on almost all packaging that has liquids in it, it has to say, do not drink this. The second one's going in. If I'm gonna be honest, this kind of smells like Fruit Loops. Let me just angle that down so you can see what's going inside. I don't have to spill it. So the second one was more of a liquid. Now it says to put the lid back on and cover up the hole and then shake it. I'm so praying this doesn't go everywhere, but whoa. So when I take it off, whoa, oh, look at that. That is so cool. Okay. Focus, gotta put this on my face. It says you have to use it within the first one and two minutes that you've done it. And since this was slightly expensive, I don't wanna waste it. This is what it looks like inside. So uh, let's put this on my face. Setting a timer for 20 minutes, and then we'll try to get this off. Oh, my nose is itching. Resist the urge, resist the urge to itch. Okay, I've had this on my face for about 20 minutes. I can already feel, even just talking right now, that it's very, I'm, I'm scared to touch it. This feels exactly like oobleck, which if you don't know what that is, it's a mixture between a solid and a liquid. I'm, I'm scared to try to peel it off my face, but I got to. No chicken and out now. I get the cup ready to put it in there. Let's let's zoom you in on this action. <clears throat> I don't know why I sounded like an old man there for a second, but mm, whatever. I'm gonna try to get one big. Look at that. 
Oh, that's so weird. Okay, I have to say, I think this actually worked. My skin feels very soft, and I don't know if you can see it on camera. I'm in front of my window, and it kind of looks a little glowier. I've got some little red patches from pulling it off my face, but other than that, it's nice. The instructions on the mask were very easy to follow. The mask itself felt awesome because I'm a huge fan of Oobleck, which is exactly what it feels like, as I've said before. And all in all, I think this is probably going to be sensitive skin approved because it didn't pull my skin off. Some of the Glam Glow masks I've used have pulled my skin off with it, and that was not pleasant at all. All in all, I have to say this mask is pretty awesome. I feel like it pretty much did what it said it was going to do, which is brighten your skin. And I don't think I'm going to have an allergic reaction to it because normally I would have already by now. I've got some stuck in my eyebrow. That's great. This is the first one of, I think they have like four different ones and it makes me want to try their other ones because this was really good. For $12, fun, easy, skin looks good. What's not to like? I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. Also, you should follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of different stuff. Bye, guys.